Made in New York City, it's time for some Adafruit factory footage. We are still manufacturing some things. We are still doing some things. We also have some scenes around New York. So uh, first up, this is Vance. And uh, Vance was making some of the 3D printed face shields. Those are the different ones that we're doing. These are small runs that Noah and Pedro are sending up to us and then we're donating those. And this is from a doctor. Um, these are amazing. Thanks you so much for getting these to me. I handed over uh, them over to our amazing ER residents for use. They love the pink variation. I'll get them to take some pictures if they're willing to send them to you. The adjustable strap and is, is much uh, more comfortable. Um, and you guys are the best. So nice. thank you, Vance, for doing that. Uh, we have these fever scanners. These are very specifically tuned devices. So you can, from a distance, see someone's temperature. It does work. Um, I have a demo of how we're modding these to work with uh, one, you know, not be Chinese language, but two, uh, do a little bit more and different things with it. So here's a video that we shot just, uh, it feels like a week ago, but I think it was yesterday. Okay, this is what we're working on. These are high-speed fever screeners. And uh, right now it's kind of like this nice standalone thing on a tripod. These go at the uh, openings of an office um, restaurants, you name it, and we're going to do a test because we just got everything working and I have um, a new sound that'll play when it detects something. So because neither one of us have a fever, uh, but we do have lunch. So let's see what happens when it sees ladies lunch. High temperature detected. Please proceed to secondary temperature fever screening. High temperature detected. All right. Please proceed to se Okay, now you have to go take that broccoli for secondary. I know. Yeah. Delish. Yum. Okay, and so as you can see, this is it here. I'm going to go to the overhead and I'll show you what the screen has. And uh, you can see this is the, you know, there's no temperature right here, but then Lady Ada will put a Lady Ada hand in there. And you then see you my can temperature? See 96, temperature. 97? Yeah. So that's pretty good. And then one thing, um, because, you know, we tested up a, a lot of these. Um, so why don't you uh, focus it on me yeah. and tell me what it's reading off. Okay. It says you're 97.8. Now I have a very small one that's very accurate. 97.6. So, uh, Within 0.2 degrees point Fahrenheit, two. which is like pretty yeah. much as and these can get. go, um, you know. This is like 30 feet up to? Can, 10, yeah, feet? can. And like when, when you see that flash, it's, it's, uh, it's when it's pointed at something hot up well, there Well, right we have now. these computers and screens, yeah. so there's a lot of hot stuff here. Yeah, and so um, these are very handy. This is part of our workforce, return to workforce tool set that we'll have at the door. Um, we'll make sure that it's something that we know it doesn't stop anything. It's just one layer, and it also makes people think about their temperatures. Yeah. Um, Fever screening is just one part of a safer yeah. workplace. And one of the things that we're doing is uh, allocating enough of these and also some other uh, thermometers. So every Adafruit team member has one at home. Every Adafruit team member has their temperature at work and we'll just continue to do this. Uh, CDC, right when we were on air, launched new guidelines. Basically they're saying even if someone in an essential workplace tests positive, they're saying that doesn't matter now. Um, you don't isolate everyone. If you're not symptomatic, it's okay. Because no. because that that the things are changing so fast. So my opinion is, assume everyone has it always, That's right. forever, and have gla gloves, masks, do sa sanitary procedures, take everyone's temperature before yeah. they leave the house, when they get there, and that is the way we can function barely right now as a society to keep things going and help people. But it's also going to be part of the new normal. Yeah. So let's. Yeah, uh, agree. Yeah. So that's the way to go. Vance packing it up. Yep. This is some of the plastic we cut for the face shields. And some of the different models and variations we've been doing. This is them laid out before they get sterilized and put in a bag. This is uh, us doing a photo shoot here at the apartment for this some soon. of the things. This is every business on our way to Adafruit and back. This is Lady Ada and I going down the street. We uh, test all of the PPE and also urban commuter um, things just like uh, this that we we're talking about. Um, we test these before we would even put them in the store. They work great. They're really good for commuting. We use them. Um, this is Lady Ada in a mask uh, at Adafruit Empty. This is uh, me spying on her and doing a selfie in front of it. 
Uh, this is Lady Ada doing some testing. This is the machine line. More Lady Ada uh, mm -hmm. processing some uh, purchasing. This is uh, disinfecting some stuff. This is more empty machines. This is us fooling around because um, sometimes we go a little crazy. Um, this is me getting a wriggle uh, oscilloscope out within an hour for the folks over at New Labs who are doing some ventilator stuff. They needed it fast. We got it uh, out Came to them with less than 40 minutes yeah. uh, at night. This is uh, some empty shelving. Or so empty Idafruit with full shelving. And then if you look close in the back, that's Kristen who's working in shipping solo. We have some other photos and more that we've been... Um, you've collected all these mannequin heads and it's like these... You've totally... Uh, you I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for this. And then last up, here's a screenshot from our weekly all-company State of the Fruit. So we've done State of the Fruit for, I don't know, about a decade. And it's everybody in the company is invited. We usually do it at 5.30 on Fridays. But now we do it virtually. And uh, people come by. We record it. They can watch it later. And uh, this is just a screenshot. This is Jesse May. I believe Jesse May is in the uh, behind-the-scenes oh, Slack. Yay. And I want to say, one, thank you, Jessie Mae, for all your work. But also, it is always delightful to talk to Jessie Mae. She is fantastic. She always inspires me to be a good person. Um, she has so, a good heart. So thank you, Jessie Mae, just for being you. And that is the main in New York City factory footage for the week.